most British people have migration somewhere in their history, although they don't often reflect on it. In this study and in this book, um, I thought, well, why not include some families who've got um, migration in their family backgrounds? So um, while it's called fathers and sons, it's actually about the different generations in the family and also about three different ethnic groups, white British, Irish origin families and Polish families. So for example, the Irish men who came to Britain in the mid 60s, they worked in the construction industry in Britain and they worked very long hours. And they were what they, in their terms, as fathers, they were very good providers, but they weren't around very much with their children. So you can see how migration, while demonstrating the very strong work ethnic of migrant groups, actually affects the time that they have to devote to parenthood. We decided to use a life story method to get people to reflect on the whole of their lives. And, um, and therefore, when we asked them to tell the story of their lives, many of them would reflect on the countries they came from, the kinds of lives they'd lived before they migrated to Britain. So this gives a kind of richness to what it's like to be a father and son uh, in a different country, in a different place, as well as at a different time. Some people just said, well, you know, this is, I grew up and came from this country, it was a poor life, um, I came here in such and such a time, and what else can I tell you? We did use photographs in the interviews. Uh, we asked the men to bring a photograph of them with their fathers and them with their own sons. And sometimes those photographs did show interesting differences. One example which I use in the book is um, uh, a, a man looking at his, uh, this is a father, current father, he looks at a photograph with his father and his brother. And then he suddenly says, you know, I don't think that's even me in that photograph. You have this description of a, I don't know that I was even there and my father was hardly there because he was busy taking the photograph. And then asked to reflect on a photograph he, of he has with his own young son. You know, he says, look, there I am. We're in a boat together and I'm guiding his hand on the tiller and I'm physically close to him. They thought they were much less distant from their children um, than their fathers had been towards them. Funnily enough, when we interviewed the children, we got a rather different picture again because particularly the younger children, the ones under, under about 11, they were complaining about not seeing their fathers very much.